Hello there everyone and thank you for joining me at the start of a new campaign in Old World Blues, the A Z series, which we're playing as a hand warband. If you've been following this channel and, you know, timeline of A to Z, as you can tell, it's not in order. That's okay. Um, but this is how we said I was the hand warband. We're in a civil war against Lone Star. And, uh, well, I could read all these. I'm going to read these whenever I play as Lone Star myself later on. So, I guess we'll start with Authorized Emergency Economic Measures. The crisis we face are with no simple issue. If we're to properly combat the eruption of violence, we need to pass emergency fiscal legislation. Cool. I'm not sure why this auto bypass, but eventually we're going to do a victory for the greater good. The vile do-gooders that used to oppress have long last been crushed. Without their influence, we can begin to prepare the area for a great leader and we're led by Warlord Hand, a cruel tyrant. Not all in Texas dream of restoring a long dead republic. Some believe that the strongest should rule the land, not some distant politicians in the city of Dallas and Austin. Lord Hand is one of these people who understands to survive the wasteland is to dominate those weaker than you, lest you be destroyed by those thinking the same the same thing. With a growing legion to the west proving this ideology, Lord Hand marches to bring all of Texas within his grasp. No weak will politician from the Brotherhood, the Unity, or Lone Star shall stand in his way of domination. Hopefully we can do well with the Civil War, um, uh, but you never know. So my goal right now is to link us up as fast as we possibly can. I do not want these guys to spread out. If they take a couple tiles, it is what it is. But the goal is encirclements. Um, hopefully we can achieve that. My god, I hope we can. Uh, because we seem to be doing okay. No, go here. You have out here. We'll do whatever we can to be successful. Transport gliders, not sure why we're researching that, but that's okay. It is September 25th. I think I was researching that so that neither side would really benefit from it. Um, these are all ahead of time. Just a wee bit. Uh, conventional. Uh, what's our land auction like eventually? Um, we're using Old World Blues, Old World Blues Generic Technology Expansion, or Generic Decisions Expanded. Technology Expansion. Because we'll go this route eventually. Reach out to the old. Um, we're really going to fall with fall in line with the Legion. Kickstart Military Research. Combat Support. Well-equipped Army. That's good. New Supplier. Go Alone. Hmm. Execute the Executive Trolls. Reduce reliance on veterans, or on mercenaries, I should say. Ooh, recruit shady scientists. Biplanes we get, nice. Jerome Banks. Interesting. Advanced ballistics. Two conscription laws will be unlocked. Effective command, interesting. Go west, life is peaceful there. Our new mayor. I never played this route with uh, the hand war band, so at least I don't think I have. Marching west. Roller skates, interesting. Come and take it. So, reduces the corn cost of Texas State by 30%. Occupation of Lubbock. Well, it seems like we're, we're a wasteland group. So I think we should probably go with asymmetric warfare. Conventional warfare might not be bad, but... Wait on that one. You guys go there. Hey, we freed another group here. Fantastic. And we've got some guys working here. Hopefully we can move around enough that it won't cost me issues. You know what? You keep doing that. You might be able to at least save one of these divisions. We got that guy done. Great. We're working up here too. We're A lot of the time, we're just here to keep divisions at bay. Um, ew. Not ideal. Yeah, we might have to sacrifice this division maybe. Um, you go here. We're going to go around him. Done. That's good. And boom. Nice. You're gonna all gonna hold. You're gonna go there. You are gonna. What are you doing? How about right there? We can spread out a little bit more. That would be great. Go ahead and retreat. Seriously, just retreat. Because right now we're gonna escape. Escape. And don't let it move. Go here. That would be great. You also. Ooh, you know what? Go down here, maybe. Maybe it'll pull it off, perhaps. Nice. Do this. And right now, you're gonna hold and force. Oh, we don't even have generals for these guys. Whoopsie. Well, uh. No. I wanna wait to have generals at least. Uh, hopefully, we can win this war. If we can defeat this top, this division, that'd be great. You guys can hold. Uh, let's 
cause a little bit more havoc here, shall we? Don't get that extra manpower. Are we making any divisions? No, we're not. Enforcement scarce and high supply trucks go low. Legion remnants. They're all right. And war band. That's two of the same thing there. Not ideal. There we go. That's good, at least right there. Don't want to lose Haskell. Let's see where they end up first. Looks like they really want to start moving around a whole bunch. Let's go in there. Come on, do their division. Distillation. Huh. Well, we're gonna go here next. Up, down, and around. Yeah, if we can't win there, well, we'll use cons commands in. That's fine. So, at this point, now I can do it like this. Now I can all be shoved under hit. Go inspirational. But we can't because we don't have no war support. Ooh, that's not a deal. You know what? You're going to force the defense. If they want to force attack, we'll force defense then. And that's not fair to us since they have so many other leaders here too. Could you go here maybe? Um. Hmm. Because now we're going to spread out more. Hopefully have a defensive sort of line and posture. Yeah, that's not very fair to us at all. Help them out here. Beat the crap out of them. We have no money too, which is not ideal as well. Now hold as best you can. Could you end up this way perhaps? Or you go here. No, you go here. Come on, mouse. You do that. There you go. Another encirclement, maybe. Hold. Hold. Don't want to lose Haskell. Take the special forces. And do that too. God dang it. Yeah, I think we're just destined to lose. Um. I've never seen the hand warband win, so that's something we may have to do because their divisions just aren't good enough, and their divisions are—they have way more divisions, and they have the free fighters helping them out too. So uh, it doesn't look like we're going to win legitimately, unfortunately, because they have just way too many divisions. Yeah, look at that—up to 19. We have 11. Why is it designed like this? How are we supposed to like be balanced? Maybe not. Especially when they have their own divisions, and then they have the free fighters. Like, it makes no sense to me. I mean, unless they're like out of manpower. Yeah, this probably needs to get rebalanced. Because this is not very good. Uh, yeah, no. Yeah, no. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to use consumants, unfortunately. So I'll see you when we won the war. A new warlord on the I-20. The last pockets of those Lord of Bang and the Old Order are currently being eradicated as we speak. And so it appears that we have at last managed to seize control of the country from the stuffy traditionalists that refuse to recognize our true matter, Kaisar. Now that we've controlled most of the nation, we can go about implementing our program. Much is needed to be done right before we can reach out to Kaisar and rejoin the Legion, however. The economy suffered much as a result of the Civil War, and our army is nothing better than the fitting of a Legion. We also need to deal with the pesky rangers who are east, as well as safeguard Lone Star from any other attacks. We must get to work for Kaisar. Kaisar was it, and so it will be done. So, honestly, that's unfair. I mean, we, we have roughly the same amount of divisions, but we have basically the same type. Then when they get helped out from the Free Fighters, we're kind of screwed over. In all honesty, I think the Legion, Kaiser's Legion, or the very least, Lanius maybe? One of these two groups should help us out, because if they get the Free Fighters, we should also get uh, someone else to help us out, like people from the Legion, because we are part of the, eventually part of the Legion. That only makes sense to me, but you know, I don't think the devs have looked at this in a while, which is fine. The devs have done a fantastic job with this mod, so. But yeah, that, that, that was impossible. With them constantly forcing the attack, well, I mean, we'd lose eventually. There's no way we could have won that, but... Next, reach for a better future. The old direction of Lone Star was pitiful. All that its leaders strove for was money, trade, and power. Instead, we must be united in fighting for a cause greater than ourselves. Sounds good to me. Uh, begin scavenging program. Sounds pretty good. Restore dies Air Force Base? Sure. Um, military and war. Expand army training. That wouldn't be bad. But yeah. Um, can we expand our military training and whatnot? 
So please, because these divisions are honestly garbage. Rapid response, rioters, head or band. Yeah, pretty trash if you ask me. But yeah, no, um, that's just needs to be looked at, in my opinion. But who am I? I'm just a guy on the internet. Because you don't have enough forces, you don't have enough divisions at the very least to help have a you know, balance of a war, especially when the free powers get involved. And they just have, they're just strong, they're not overpowered, but they're just really strong, and that's too strong for us to try to handle by ourselves. Research advisor, um, just maybe not political power decisions, but okay, whatever. Research advisors, we could, or we could go with the Golden Gecko. Slightly more money, slightly more political power, slightly more stability. So, whatever, at this point in my Hoi 4 career, i played Old War Blues so many times that at this point, I don't really care about these kind of commands. I don't like using them, but if I have to, I will. What's next? Well, at least we got a trade node. That's gonna come in handy. Do we have anything else? No, we're actually really good on a lot of equipment, which is decent. Cool. So then what route can we take? Use willing labor. For population caps, new approaches. For new times, civvies instability, warmongering disposition. We get more monger, not bad. Our home first and foremost. Oh, I definitely want warmongering disposition. Um, but I think, hmm, we're going to race down for what? Something here? Eh, it seems all okay. A research slot would be nice. That's only forty days. Or we'll purge our enemies. Militarize the industry. Marching west. Hmm. Caps and population, or stability in cities. What am I more population? But we're going to conquer all of Texas, and caps I'm not concerned about. And now economic powerhouse alone. We can't rely on anyone else in the Texan wastelands to support us if we need help. I wasn't sure that we're always in economic powerhouse alone. Development at home. Daisy Roth, the industrial reformer from the slums, stretching out from Lone Star, offers her service as an economic advisor. Every state on I-20 gets two levels of infrastructure. Combat or weaknesses? If we're to survive in the harsh, harsh wilderness of Texas, we must combat our lack of military production. To do this, we must deal with our economic weaknesses. Nice. Happy February, everybody. I really hope we can edit these divisions because I'm just going to set them aside if we can't. Yeah, it's good to have a uh, grape drink, but uh, I haven't that stuff with me any more caps for that one. It's fine. Damage vehicles, why not? Advanced technology decisions, organization relations, expand army training would be nice. It would be actually quite nice. We'll get there. 105, well, let's see. Do we have any political power? Burn Texas down. If hating Texas is wrong, I don't want to be right. Painting it red. Ooh, better, better core creation cost, which is very good. Resistance growth and less damage garrisons. Texas pride. Economic powerhouse. It's only 5% more political power, but we're going to use it the entire campaign. Head in the clouds. It's only 5%. Oh, maybe. Can we get any more stability? Perhaps at all? Focus on the internal sphere? Maybe not. You know what? Mm, Asymmetric warfare, land development. 15 forces. Well, you know, let's go with this person first. Then we'll get that more political power and whatnot. And I think it'll be good in the end. Better support equipment, too. Okay, I'm just going to train. Finally, for the party. Yes, please. Economic Paros alone. And combat or weaknesses. Followed up with what? Protect the capital? Kickstart military research. Ooh, develop the loans to arms industry. We could use more arms workshops, I'm sure. It's a smart investment. We should be able to boost our arms production significantly. Or maybe we could do these two first. We're a stronghold of the Legion, and so we must never lose Lone Star to foreign invaders. We must ensure it's protected from the land and sky. Kickstart military research. 
We lack woefully behind our neighbors in terms of military leadership. Relying on our mercenary contracts provide us with most weaponry. This must change if we were to survive on our own. Makes sense to me. Ah, good, more running speed. Good, good, more, more, more. Go to optimize trading too. We found nothing? Well, good. And then up next, special forces. Do we actually have a, our own special forces? I train warriors. There you go. Ching. Nice. Good. Rider expenses are online. That's fine. Got a, getting a lot of things done here, aren't we? Can we do this one? Yeah, no. Manpower, let's go to this one too. There's support equipment. Transport gliders. Definitely don't need that right now, but whatever. Um, anti tank. Yeah, I might as well get it done now. Very nice. Keep boosting it up. That's what we need. Looking alright with all this stuff. Territories, caravan guards, western pacification, kickstart military research, militarized economy. Yeah, that would be bad, but we want to get to uh, recruit shady scientists. Not shady sands, but shady scientists. By exploring our connections with the Legion, we can encourage some less ethical scientists to move to Lone Star, greatly expanding our research potential. Uh, we could have more. Oh, here, edit that, that, that better. Good. Yeah, Legion Remnants. Eh, I mean, technically we already have two here. Hmm. Or just straight up training these guys, because they already have Recon in them, on them anyways. Right, Legion Remnants. Goodbye. And... Can we do that? Let's go, Garrison. Can I get rid of this division, please? I hate that I can't edit divisions. Oh, we got a lot of money now. Well, send us some mana prospectors and get some military sending bonuses? No. Could invest, but we don't have to. Organization relations? We're already pretty good on what we need. Maybe for the future we could use more, but still. Ah, oh, good. Anti tank. Dynamite's pretty good to have, too. We'll have time. Extract more if we really need it. Stink good. And now we're going to grab... Uh, Slightly more political power because we can. So after this, what next? New two new conscription laws. We'll attempt to remove our military away from total reliance on mercenaries uh, towards establishing a home defense force. Light the forges of war. Not bad. Well, we need at least one of these for now. We're gonna go with warmongering disposition definitely. Our neighbors aren't gonna be happy uh, with the new values and ideals. One day they'll come for us, so we'll just have to make deal with them first. Scrap and water, those are easily replaceable and whatnot, so. Not worried about that whatsoever. Um, that too, why not? That in mind, that's going along swimmingly. Uh, sure, get some recon support because you can. Tons of money. Dynamite, nice. Why not? Corruption in Haskell. Scandals rocked hand war bands. The press has revealed some of the hand war bands' leaders are taking bribes in exchange for government favors. Brown ranchers, gun runners, and others have been abusing our nation for their own personal gain. Many critics wonder if hand war bands were dying for if its leaders would tolerate this sort of misconduct. 
How do I display the power? That's because we have freedom of speech. What nonsense. State press? Compliance growth speed. I'm gonna muzzle descent probably. Because even though the search of resistance are getting to get more political power, I don't want to hurt our pee pee. Ah, oh, treasure truck, nice. What? We just had this one. Or maybe I have state press. People of the capital wasteland, it is I, three dog, your ruler. Hear me and obey. Oh, sorry, that's the other radio station. Our muzzle descent. Oh, that's a statement, Mr. McDonnell. Tyrant mayor shuts down the press. Sounds about right. Also, do you want to come down here to get more political power and research speed as well? Would be nice. Maxec. Well, Diana. More war sports, nice too. Oh, I'll get to one of these. Eh, well then. Population's alright. Well, as we value the order and progress the Legion has brought to the wasteland, slavery to the extent the Kaiser practices it would be impractical in Lone Star. A new approach is needed. You adapt to the times that you have. It's a little out of time, but it doesn't really matter. It's all good. inspiration for this one. Reach out to the old. War, Warlord Han has many contacts throughout the remnants of the Legion Scavenging Expedition at Texas. Many of these veterans may prove to be useful to us. A veteran from the old Legion Scavenging Expedition becomes available for recruitment as Arch Army Chief. Hmm. Interesting. Keep up to my training, I guess. Rationalism, more political power, yes. Nine, not bad. Good. Continue scavenging. Pass me a hit. What else we got here? Economic advisors. It's not terrible. Sly merchant, not great. Union financer. Captain income would be pretty good to get too. Pretty for military command, greater cause. Ooh, that's capped expenses. Better infantry attack and defense. Old guard. More division organization and entrenchment. Patient teacher. Rapid responder. That's our auxiliaries. Huh. Interesting. Cultural advisor. Monthly population. Agriculture. Burn Texas down. I mean, we need. Has completed a victory for the greater good. Seems like those are the ones we should probably should go with. Core Christian costs, damage garrison goes down, resistance growth speed. Well, you lose a little bit of stability, which I don't like, but you get be better a soft attack on damage equipment. You know what? We're gonna burn it down. Sorry. But we're gonna play Lone Stars after this anyways, probably too, so. We'll play the opposite. Out to the old, purge our enemies. Whilst we've established our dominance through open warfare, the day to day workings of many settlements have changed a little since their ascension to power. Gotta change. And militarize our industry. Our output is almost entirely geared towards civilian factories. That must change. So we're gonna lose those cities. But we get five arms workshops. Holy crap. So going down this route is really good because you basically don't get anything out of this. But you get five arms workshops. It's kind of insane. It's great. Good. Keep scavenging, we got the money for it. Generally, I don't like to invest in the trade nodes, 
But at this point, we got so much money, we might as well. So I apologize if the music's too loud. I've had some people comment that before. So hopefully it's better for you guys. If it's still too loud, please let me know in the comments below. Probably going with wasteland tactics since I mean, you know, I kind of prefer. You know what? We're going with legion tactics. Screw it. We're going to go and that plus new new ways, new approaches. That makes more sense. We're part of the legion, but I'm not using enforcers, am I? Enforcer, da, da. more soft attack, death buff, ferocity. Uh, enforcers, or do we want to go this way? Hmm. How close do we get with the Legion, really? I guess that's my question. Crucify local opposition. The state ain't big enough. The Masters of Texas. The hand war band will known as Texas Tyranny. Tyrants of Texas. Can we become our own Legion? Go west? Hmm. Cutting edge development. Advanced into industrial technology. Hmm. So the Provisional Republic of Texas. You know, we're very heavily Legion influenced, so we'll just go with ancient tactics. That's fine. Neither one doesn't really matter to me. And then militarize the industry. Sign cutter losses. Oh, that's a lot of political power. Wow. Um, Chief of the Army, uh, Simon Buell. More group of population, more division attack, less max planning. A senior figure in the Legion scavenging expedition that reached Texas a decade ago. Asina decided to remain in and around Lone Star after the bulk of the expedition returned home. His military expertise is vast and would bring great reforms to our army. Seems fantastic to me. That cultivation, nice. Um, mass communication, starting appliance or whatever. Uh, paint red. Yeah, I'll have to grab this one too. For something greater. Many decades ago, the scavengers from the Legion came to our land, some stayed behind, with a secret mission of preparing a stronghold for Kaiser while he came east. We are now that stronghold. Cool. I really don't like 60 day focuses, but it, it works for us for now. Thank goodness we found the expedition. Uh, yeah, still investing in stimulus. See if we can increase our size. Yes. Yes, please. Militarize. Oh, we gotta reduce the alliance. Okay. Uh, we must rely on native military forces if we're to survive any upcoming struggle. Mercenaries can only be relied on as far as their caps can carry us, while loyal men will fight until the end. Attempt to move our military away from the local total reliance on mercenaries towards establishing a home defense force. Good. Better justify World Ghost Times and more organization. I love it. Good. Level 9, fantastic. Still ahead of time, that's fine. Planes, sure. Hey! Fantastic. Need a couple more gliders. I know we're going to need more uh, of this stuff too. Sure, go ahead and optimize more training. Sure, why not? Slime Merchant, we're going to wait for some of these guys. High military command, well. No more attack. Good. Chief of the Air Force. 
Nothing for the Navy. Old Guard. You know what? Since this person's there, we got We have to have that person, right? Right. Don't do that too. Nineteen forty. Oh yeah. Total value one hundred two thousand. Amazing. It's a lot of money. Total value. Promote node. Efficiently high enough. So 99% militarize it. We could, but we could wait. Our new mayor. Prepare for something greater. Let's march west and see what happens. Maybe we'll die. Egalitarianism? Probably not the most important one we want right now, but more research speed would be pretty good. Followers of the Apocalypse? It doesn't make sense to have them. But they do give us more science points. I'm going to reject them. So he's a fort? Oh, you actually get this, huh? I'll take that. And I'll do that too, why not? We can afford that. Damn, just trying for great. Do one more, maybe? Nice, there you go. That's what we like to see. Whenever they're ready. Part standardization, nice. Uh, better find your kids, yes, please. So then what? The occupation of Lubbock. To our west lies Lubbock. A nation wants to depend on our armies for protection and peacekeeping. We just send our armies once again to Lubbock to keep the peace. How do we do we better uh, do it than taking them over? My thoughts exactly. Oh good, motorized flight. I think we also have Old World Blues Bitches Formable as well, but I don't think we have it. There's the state we can form. Of course we can form our own Texas, I think, but still. each other down there. Great. The Texan stronghold. Oh, Kaiser is a genius man. Uh, with little hope of apparent success, uh, his agents and recruits did the impossible. Lone Star is now home of proud legionnaires, swearing loyalty to him and him alone. But the best is yet to come. We have a rule in the Legion's greater plans, and why deny the fates are due? By Kaiser's will. You get Legion training. Ooh! More ex division experience gain, div special forces, attack and defense, and minimum capacity. Operative recruitment slot, plus one. Nice. Come and take it. You know, all we had to use was Khan's commands in the beginning, which I do not like to do, but, you know. I'm sure if you guys played it, you probably would have done it better than I would have. But it is what it is. What do we got here? Followers are established. Yeah. Get out. Santa Ana marches. Santa Ana is unrestrained by Tlaloc, and now his plans for Grand Offensive is into Texas. He takes across Rio Grande, and we better speak very... Oh, God. That was lovely. We'll unlock reward technology centurions. Ooh. Carthaginian's refugees. She was a skater boy. Death and taxes. At the forges of war. Let's militarize the economy. We must divert more resources to the military to ensure we always have a woke up fighting force to arms. Especially after we do this one. Go alone. Working with the TAA will serve a little point. Good. We would be better served developing our own resources. Uh, and which we can then use to take the resources. So, we did well. We also took some of the cities by force. Okay, whatever. Our new supplier. The DAA is willing to do business with anyone who has caps. Good news for us. Um, we can too often have workshops. There's a little bit, few things here. Or go alone. Resources or in circuit, is that circuitry? I'd rather have the circuitry. We'll probably go alone. It's fine. 20. So we'll have a time. Go ahead and too. Nice. Good. Better scout kits are good. Since we're here, um, this is a group that we're using. It's not very much. Put some cams on them. And what are the things we have? Support equipment's looking actually really good. Honestly, a recon. I just mentioned one demo equipment. Eh, we'll do that one too. Screw it. Giving the guys a better chance at surviving. And muzzle descent. To militarize the economy. And give another arms workshop too. Why make your own civvies when you just take them from other people? Oh, we just go straight to war. Nice. Do 
We should be able to do this pretty easily. Good job, guys. And there goes that division. Goodbye. God dang it. Mm, don't want to hurt ourselves too much yet. Get on your vehicle still. Good job, guys. Let them struggle a little bit. They might attack us too, maybe. We'll see. Come and take it. Uh, during the Texan Revolution, the fr a phrase come and take it was widely used as a message of defiance against the Mexican government. It was going to the Battle of Gonzalez, the opening battle of the revolution, during which a small group of Texans defended a cannon from the Mexican forces tasked with taking it. We must have the same mentality. I remember my Texan history when I used to live in Texas as a middle schooler. Good times. Demo equipment's lacking. I guess you could have some empty tank. I guess you could do this too. Good for XP, I guess. But still. Better chems and such. Oh, okay then. Good job. Got so many caps, not funny. Oh, we passed by Lubbock. Our rebellion began with a promise uh, that one day Legion would come to us, and when they did, we would be granted riches, and titles, and lands beyond our wildest imaginations. So far, the Legion has not come. We must not lose hope, however, for we know that the Legion must not have fallen. We shall push to the Red Sun City for to our west to meet up with them or discover what befell them. Passed by Lubbock. Following the determined action of our legions, the path west has been cleaned through the remnant of what once was Lubbock. Now it's time to pass by the air, ensuring that they are not a threat to our rear flank as we march further west. Lose 1,200 state population. Hmm. And get more compliance. March for Fort Summers. Defend Fort Summers. Take Castrum Mars. We don't need this at all, but we'll do it anyways. There you go. Huh. As a core. On the core Summers Federations. Defend Fort Summers. Fort Summers overlooks vital supply routes to the west, and so we must ensure it is adequately defended against any hostile forces. If we beef up the outposts around the road, we can ensure both our troops and uh, the local populace are safe. Take Kostrom Mars. Oh, we can go to war with these guys. If we wanted to. If we get to claim in every Texas state eventually, come and take it. Oh, dang it, guys. Come. 
Give more, even more compliance. Ghoul from Lubbock, Jack Conway, fought valiantly as a commander of Lubbock's forces. Well, evidently doomed, he made a brave last stand in the center of Lubbock. It took your best man the best part of a day to finally force him to surrender. Taking prisoner like the rest of the enemy, he may be a good slave to keep around. Yeah, I could get more compliance immediately. That'd be great. Land Doctrine, Denaris, Advanced Ballistics, Monoplane Fighters. Oh, we get that technology anyways. Whoops. Uh, that's not bad to have. Our friend of the South, Santa Ana, shares our hatred of the Texas Brotherhood. We may want to threaten Texas. That's tomorrow's problem. And once we take out Rusk, we'll be more than a match for the Tin Pot, tin pot Tyrant. And recruit our own Centurions. For most military matters, we have deferred to the remnants of the Legion of Scavenging Expedition. However, now our enemy has grown too large for them to oversee, and so we must recruit Centurions of our own. Crucify local opposition. Carthaginian refugees. The delicious cooks of Carthage are no more, victims of the Brotherhood's aggression, but we will welcome any tasty meal. And like the forages of war. The time has come. We must prepare a nation for total war. Encho and Mexico. Santa Ana was kind enough to send us anti-tank equipment to use against the Brotherhood. And perhaps against him, if he gets uppity. What's he going to do? Attack a divided Texas? Wow, all the missile launchers. Holy cow. Hey, thanks. Crucify local opposition. Through the cruel practice of crucifying all of their opposer rule, we could rapidly bring control territories under heel. Through the systematic crucifixion, of opposition occupied territories, we can eliminate the threat they pose to rule and bring them under our thumb and maybe blood, but Kaiser wills it. So if we reduce resistance target up north too, maybe? We can wait to do that, but we can core things faster now. But right now, we're gone to war with the Sapper War Band. Also, Lanius is gone. They're already absorbed by the Legion, so we're there already with them. And we can demand rifle territories if we wanted to from the Legion. Um, see how that runs out or turns up. I think we can actually bust through here with using our special forces. Because Special Forces is actually pretty good. They can pierce us a little bit, which is not ideal, but, you know, whatever. They're going. They're doing. They're doing alright. Carthaginian refugees. The delicious cooks of Carthage no more. Victims of the Brothers' aggression. But we're, we welcome a taste of meal. Like the forges of war. Time has come. We must prepare a niche for total war. And the executive trolls. The executives are weirdos, but even a handful of them have their uses. Look at the fine products brought. they brought to Lone Star. Nice. Ah, uh, sure. Ah, uh, sure. They are slowly tiring out our guys, but we'll see if they can actually keep it up. Let's see, still have a time. Doggos, we did a lot more things here too. Fire teams, sure. I wonder if we can actually bust through here or not. Losses, 44 versus 300. That's still not too bad. Okay, 5,000 manpower, 13 divisions. Just by local opposition. Nice. Throw them back in there. Because they are tiring themselves out as well. It was great to see. And it gives us this guy more experience as well. Hey! Nice. Special forces only for now, please. We'll throw them back in there just a little bit. There you go. Have fun with it. Still, we have a level 10 trade node already. It's fantastic. Good optimized training, but we don't need to do that for now. Uh, season patriotism, war measures, demand rifle territory. We're doing military signing bonuses because we could use that extra manpower and whatnot, I'm sure. There you go. 168 or 600 some. There you go. Good. Frequency analysis, more encryption is good. The gene refugees are good. Help them out. Mm, more manpower. Mm. Our new mayor. Although the war band rules Lone Star, there's nothing wrong with the civilian front. We are merely protecting the town. After you do executive trolls. Oh, hello. Oh, you know what? Uh, light? I can mean, do those too. They're racking up the casualties, man. Can they keep it up? Maybe. Nice. Anything else I can throw in the special forces yet? Fire teams. We don't have a lot of fire team weaponry, really. More coordination, perhaps. 
lost about a thousand. Can we keep it up? That's a real question. I say for their own special forces, they can't keep it up either. It's one heck of a way to demolish your enemies. Do I recommend this? No, God, no. Executive trolls. What are we making that we don't use? Make sure. Oh, nice. Now yeah, since we have them here. No more initiative isn't hurt. All right. All right. Yeah, that's a political power too. Major businesses. Anything that helps with the legion. Infantry equipment breakthrough. More more soft stack. Let's lock and load. Let's do a little more soft stack damage. What are we missing here? Spec ops equipment and fire teams. Do we buy any more? Support equipment. And for the chop shop, not for you guys. Butcher's Pete. Nothing's under Vancouver Mavens either. Personality is good too. Light machine guns. Sure. Really focus on more special forces equipment and whatnot. They're out now. You guys have been learning a lot, which is great. Death Clause eats some team. What the heck, guys? How about we do better than that? Fight a new domain. While air warfare is not a new field, it has almost never been used since the Great War. We must change this by ensuring we control the air, we can ensure that it will win on the ground. There you go. Good job, Special Forces. Honestly, at this point, just had a generic front line. So we've lost 400 versus. 1800, not bad. Got a manpower. Fantastic. Dark stars, eh? Oh, they're forcing the defense now, wow. Well, if that's the case, well. We got some time. They want to plan, that's fine. Good. Good. I think it's time for us to focus on a little bit more on the infantry. They're only 10 combat with still, so it's not great. infrastructure networks. Even if we had all the troops in the rule, they would be of no use to us if we can't move them around effectively. We should develop infrastructure close to the Texan Brothers border. Nice. Biplane fighter, monoplane fighter is very good. And eh, since we're here. There you go. Now we need more guns. Start working on all that stuff. Makes your guys quite a bit stronger. We might be able to do that, maybe. Look at that. Fantastic. Projects. Very good. So instead of adding even more infantry, Slightly more organization. You do double demos. You get 10 more soft attack. 
He actually was a little bit of speed. We'll just want one more of these time. Whatever. Think about adding more demo teams, but whatever. It's fine. I guess, do they get more manpower back somehow? Maybe not. Of course, we do want to core some stuff here too, don't we? We get a reduction in coring costs. This ain't big enough. Yeah. Nice. Yeah, there goes Tlaloc. Good. 40. Nice. Good stuff. 60. Good. Definitely for these guys. Should be a big old injection of resources and manpower to use. Further military thought. A new tactics are needed to conquer the wastelands in preparation for the Kaisar. We should put considered effort into furthering our tactics. Hmm. Let's nice. keep building. Stretch them out. All six are down here. That is strange, but all right. I mean, still only circle one division. That's better than nothing, I guess. There you go. Some of their divisions are very, very weak. Which is good. Let's keep making our guys stronger and stronger and stronger. I can do this. Gotta hope so. Adopt foreign currency. Lose some gaps in code, but that's alright. Adapt the Legion's Denarius will greatly increase our trade relations with the Legion and land score, as well as strengthen our economy. Let's see if we can actually do this or not. Some places yes, some places no. I hope we get up here, because this would just cut them off. Good. Give them south, should completely be able to die then. Especially on plain view. Absolutely awesome. So we've lost what a thousand, fifteen hundred, maybe two thousand. Pretty good overall, I'd say. Should be able to take this towel. Take here. You might just be able to capitulate them and kill them all off. Can't believe we actually did that. Took a little longer than I would have liked, but you know, whatever. It is what it is. We're looking pretty good now. And we have a strong red flank. As we're adopting foreign currency too. What do you need this? Overcharged ammo, basic infantry equipment, huh? Oh, more arms workshops. We could use that. With smart investment, we should be able to boost our arms production significantly. Followed up with our new mayor. Although the war ban rules Lone Star, there's nothing wrong with the civilian front. We're merely protecting the town. She was a skater, boy. The brother may have conquered the roller girls, but some of them will still fight the bad fight with us in death and taxes. In Texas. What if instead of demanding money in an ad hoc fashion from his champs, we regularize their payments? Great idea. Weapons for the warlord? Um, we must push our weapon capabilities past the beyond conventional limits to ensure that we keep the edge in combat. Cool. I think we went there. We got at least one more episode in this one for us to do all this stuff. Ooh, and we developments at home. Low and super opera is thriving in order to use our political capital to pull the right strings. We get up and boom even further. But if you enjoyed the video, please consider leaving a like. Subscribe if you're new. Check out my Discord link in the description below, and I'll see you tomorrow. As, uh, we'll see what we can do more with the hand warband. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day.